you're here. Well, hi. I know I am looking a wreck. I am looking a darn wreck. Well, you know, it's been a rough couple of weeks and, uh, yeah, you know, found out my dirty, rotten, no good, pig stealing, great, great husband was treating on me, so I decided to file for divorce because I found out that um, he was not getting a raise. He was cheating for no good reason. You know, I thought he maybe he was he was doing the sex with somebody for, you know, trying to get a raise at his job but apparently he maxed out his raises four years ago and he's never going to get another raise till he dies, which will hopefully be soon and painful. So yeah, he, he was not doing it for a raise. So I just decided to get a divorce right away. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I found out a lot of things about him. I found out that he was smoking dope. I found out that he was hitting up strip bars. I found out that he liked rap music. It's like I don't even know the man that I married, you know? And, and I found out that that hooker that he's cheating with is not really a hooker. She's actually a very nice lady named Pam. So that's really cool. Hi, Pam. It's like the cooking spray. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Pam. You know, that's what, I'm, that's what I always say when I think about her in my head. Um... So that's been really hard and, you know, thinking about uh, our kids and such, the twins, and how busy my life has been with them, you know, just constant work. They're four years old now, so it's just like, oh my god, and they're in preschool, so they've got all this homework to do, and yeah, they're in preschool part-time. It's two days a week. Excuse me, two days a week. It's like they're working me to my death. Like as if I wasn't busy enough. Now I have to bring my kids to preschool two days a week. It's just really hard. So, um, yeah, I did start uh, cleaning. Mm. Sorry, that's my dog. I'm just packing up all my stuff here in boxes and, and getting ready to um, move out of this house because I am so done with it. I am just ready to move in with my new man and leave this all behind me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be a single mother now, but we've decided that we want um, split custody because I frankly do not want my kids any more than one day a week, so we're going to split custody on that. Um, yeah, it turns out he's been dating this nice lady named Pam for a long time. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully they'll be very happy together and they'll be a happily family with my twins. And I will just be, um, a happy new singly mother, uh, except not really single single. I'm just not going to be married anymore because I have my boyfriend, you know, um, my boyfriend, <laughs> You should meet him. I mean, really, I should meet him, too. I can't wait to meet him. But, anyway. Oh. No, no. No, I, I have not met him in person. But we have... Uh, we have Facebook messaged for quite a while. Mm -hmm. On the Facebook, that's how we met. Oh, I don't know where he lives. It's not... I mean, it's not nearby, so he can't come see me. He has a house in Louisiana, but um, that's not where he's living right now. Right now, he's living um, somewhere overseas. It's really exotic and fancy. It's for his job, actually. He's really wealthy, and he owns his own companies, like five or six of them. It's some kind of like, I don't even know, like stocks or mouthwash or, you know, something really, really extravagant like that. So, yeah. Well, he, well, I don't know, um, his pictures that I've seen, we have not FaceTimed or Skyped or anything like that. No, we haven't talked on the phone neither, but I don't really think that, that matters because we have great conversations. Um, 
on the Facebook. We have really good conversations and he makes me feel very loved and very happy um, and very beautiful. He always tells me how beautiful woman I am. So it's really nice. But in his pictures, he looks like a model. It is crazy. He looks so much like Vin Diesel. It's uncanny. It is uncanny. And I told him, I was like, you look just like this actor named Vin Diesel. And he said, that is funny name. And I said, yes, that is funny name. You are funny man. <laughs> so yeah, he is just, he is a hoot. He is such a hoot. He knows how to make me giggle. I tell you what, he is just so funny. The way he talks on the Facebook is just hilarious. <gasps> yeah. Well, he'll just like leave out words or like talk with super weird grammar and I ain't no grammar queen by any means but but he just talks so funny sometimes and it just cracks me up. Makes me forget about all my life sorrows. <laughs> yeah and I've had a lot of life sorrows lately so that is saying something. But, yeah, he looks just like Vin Diesel. He is bald, but he is ripped as can be. He's just got dank, 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 ab after ab. I'm like, what kind of workouts do you do? I've only seen a few pictures of him, but um, the ones I have seen, it's just like, wow. Oh, no, I have creeped through his Facebook. Don't think I have not stalked him. I have. But his Facebook account, he just doesn't really post on it very much. He's got like three pictures on it and like 12 friends. And they're all um, from, you know, where he lives now overseas. They're uh, some foreign, you know, foreign faction of people. And um, yeah, and then there's me. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I am his girl, and we've been, we've been official, you know, not on Facebook, because I don't want the neighbors to talk, but we've been official for quite some time, yeah, I'm not seeing nobody else, he's not seeing nobody else, I'm not mar married to my husband anymore, so, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all good things, really. I mean, it seems like a huge life change, and I am definitely filled with tons of sorrow, and I cry many tears about this, but all in all, I think it's going to be a really good thing, because I am dating this healthy, wealthy Vin Diesel man, and it's going to be great. Well, he lives out of the country now. He's in Europe or um, the Middle East or something. I'm not really sure. I, I ain't traveled too much in my life, but but I know that he lives somewhere and uh, that he is coming back very soon, but he just can't afford the money for a ticket to come back right now. So, um, yeah, he is just, uh, he is somewhere, you know, um, just waiting he is. He okay. Don't get it twisted. All right. He is um, the owner of all these mouthwash, um, Wall Street, whatever it is, um, companies. He is like he's like a part owner of Walmart or something. And I love the Walmart. You know how much I love the Walmart. I go there every single day. But um, he is like super rich. Okay. He is loaded. He is just rolling in dough. Okay, but he is, um, he is just, he's, his funds are tied up right now because he's overseas and, like, he was having issues with his bank and, um, because, like, he was using his card in a different country and they were like, you're not really who you're saying that you are and he was like, yes, I am and so they were just having some issues with his bank and um, those should be fixed soon, but in the meantime, I have been generously providing him with money um, just so he can live. I feel so, my heart breaks for this man, for my boyfriend. It just, it really breaks because he, excuse me, oh, my dog is going crazy. It's like she can smell the bullshit going around in this air. Stanky. Um, yeah, I'm talking about my husband, my cheating husband. I mean, I cheated too, but it was never anything like physical. I did not sex anybody else like he did. Disgusting man. What nasty. Just nasty. And anyways, excuse me. Excuse me. Come here. All right. So, um, yeah. So what I was saying was, uh, I have been generously and, um, very lovingly 
giving money to my man um, via via wire transfer and it seems to really be helping a lot just paying his basic needs because it breaks my heart it absolutely breaks my heart because he is over there in a foreign country no friends no family around his woman stuck in the states you know and I just can't be there for him and he doesn't even have enough money for toilet paper or lunch and that just it hurts me inside it just kills my heart so I have been providing him with just something to get him by and he says that not only will he pay me back but he will also buy me a new car and a new house and lots of jewelry he actually sent me some jewelry in the mail some real jewelry from like Africa or wherever he is and it's just like it's it's so beautiful he sent me pictures of it and it should have arrived probably a month ago but he said that the that it sometimes takes a while to get through customs or like get overseas or something so it just hasn't gotten here yet but the picture is just beautiful do you want to see it here my dog is sitting on my cellular device and my mobile um but let me just my phone yeah it's looking a little worse for wear but it is um it's all right he will also buy me a new phone once he gets here he is just swimming in money i wish i could even describe how much he is swimming in money excuse me sit down sit down I am trying to show her, my guest, who you are being really rude to, a picture of my new man. Can you please sit? Sit. Good dog. It's a good, good dog. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to get nice wet kisses like that for my new boyfriend. Know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, I'll show you the picture later. But yeah, yeah, so I've been sending how much money? Oh my god. I've lost count, but to be honest, I think it's probably somewhere to the tune of like forty five thousand oh, dollars. That's the thing. Me and my soon to be ex husband still share a bank account. So I am well, technically it was supposed to be for our twins' uh, college fund, but so I figured it wouldn't matter none if I used any of it because I'm going to be paid back in full, so I'll have the money back in there before my ex-husband even notices. Yeah. Come on now, do you think I'm stupid? I might have very poor eyesight, but I am not dumb. No, I'm not. Now, he, he's a good man, I promise. You got a little something right there. Hey, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Yep. But, you're giving me a weird look. I don't like it. What's that look for? Excuse me. She's been bored, you know my puppy with all this packing that we've been doing and she hasn't gotten to go for any walks or anything like that. I'm surprised that you did not look when I said walk. Because normally when I say walk, she gets really excited. You know what I mean? It's like when my boyfriend calls me by my name. He says, my beautiful, you know, and stuff like that. And it's just really nice when I'm asleep. He'll be able to pay for my medical bills when he gets here and all that stuff because he is just, he is loaded. But that is not what I like the most about him. What I like the most about him is that he writes me poetry. He sends it to me on the Facebook. It is just, oh, spoon material. It takes my breath away. The words that man can come up with, it is like a professional wrote this poetry. It is amazing. Mm-hmm. I am a lucky, lucky woman. I tell you what. Yep. I don't 
don't know what you mean by that. Sketchy? What sounds sketchy about it? Uh, that's ridiculous. No, no, he... I know a lot about this man, okay? And just because we have never FaceTimed or Skyped or anything like that does not mean that I do not know him and that we have not had very deep and personal and interesting conversations. Okay, I know all about his business. I know all about his life. I know, I just don't really remember the details right now and I would show you, but I just, I don't want to right now. My, ouch, my phone is incapacitated at the moment. So I, I'm honestly just really offended that you would even say anything like that. Yeah, I don't know who you think you are. That is my boyfriend that we are talking about here. And he makes me happy and he makes my light shine bright. Like sun. That is what one of his poetry, one of his poetry pieces ended with. You make my life shine bright like sun. Yeah. He says sweet things like that to me and he makes my heart flutter. He makes it flutter and he makes all of this stress worth it because I know that I will get to be with this man. So you're telling me that? Yes, that is what I'm telling you. Okay, I may have sent him all that money, but he has, it is expensive over there where he's living. A roll of toilet paper is like $90 or something ridiculous over there. It's because of the Amazon rainforest deforestation or something like that. It is literally because of that because he just needs all of that money for his basic essentials, his basic necessities, okay? He's not using it for nothing extra or anything like that. He is literally just using it to live. And then any extra that he has, he is saving for a plane ticket to get here, which costs like $11,000. Yeah, I, I'm assuming he's looked it up. He is a very smart and resourceful man. He has access to the internet, apparently, through Facebook. So why would not he Google how much money a plane ticket is? That is what he told me, and he would not lie to me. I know that. I may be sending him money, but he, look, if you saw this man and you could see that he looks like Vin Diesel, just to a T, you would be like, I get it, you know, I get it. And you would send him that money too, if you had it, but you don't. That's the thing right there. You're probably jealous. You're jealous that I have all that money to send to my man. You're jealous. You're right, that was hurtful. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that it was hurtful. I did not mean it. I'm sorry. I was just getting a little upset because I miss him. We can only talk, you know, every once in a while. Every once in a while, he'll, you know, send me a message, ask me if I'm okay, if I have any more money, ask me to send him a picture of my tits, and, um, yeah, stuff like that. Excuse me, indigestion. But, um, yeah, we can only talk at like three in the morning because apparently like that's what time it is over there and yeah, I miss him a lot. I'm really lonely to be honest. So I'm really excited for when he can actually get, get out here and, and be with me. He's excited too. He says that when he gets here, he's going to ask me to marry him. He's going to move me into his house in Louisiana and we're going to have a bunch of babies of our own. Yeah, which is going to make me really busy, you know. It's going to be really busy on top of having the twins one day a week. Oh my god, I am just going to be, whew, going to be overwhelmed to the T. Maybe I could hire you to be my nanny. <laughs> yeah, or somebody else, you know, whatever. <sighs> yeah, what do you think? Because you're, you're looking a little sketched out. You're looking like something is not adding up to you. I don't know how I could spell it out to you any clearer. He is the love of my life. He makes me feel alive again. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm broke as hell and I'm lonely as hell. And I hate that I can only talk to him every once in a while. And, you know, but then he says the sentences like, like, you are most beautiful in the world. And I'm like, I, 
I'm gonna just send you a nude because I'm just like, ooh, he's just, he makes my heart flutter, you know what I mean? It makes it all worth it. Yeah, so all in all, I'm really glad I'm getting a divorce. But you know what? You came here to help me pack. We have not even started packing, so I think that we should probably get to that. Yeah, we should probably start packing. Um, you want to talk to me about this later, but why? You want more details about my man? You want to get yourself some? <laughs> sure sounds like you're jealous. You're right, I'm sorry I said that. That's not very kind of me to say to such a good friend who is helping me to pack. All right, we'll talk about it later then. Shoot, no need to get yourself in a tizzy. We're gonna be friends for the rest of our lives. Don't worry, we're gonna talk about a lot of things over and over again. All right, yeah, let's get packing. I will show you over here and you can get started on these boxes and I'll get started on the boxes over here and we'll, we'll just pack up all my stuff and we'll have a moving party. Don't worry, I brought wine. I know I said I wasn't drinking anymore, but then I started drinking again. Sulfites and whatever can all go to hell. I like it. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go.